publication, this manuscript, uh, permits the clinician to learn how to use inspiratory and expiratory muscle aids to prevent uh, episodes of acute respiratory failure and chronic respiratory failure for patients with weak respiratory muscles, in particular with, for patients with neuromuscular diseases. Typically what goes on, conventionally speaking, is that patients get weaker and weaker. They eventually are sent for a polysomnogram. Uh, they're treated with uh, low levels or low spans of bilevel positive airway pressure, but they continue to weaken and eventually develop acute respiratory failure, usually during an otherwise benign upper respiratory tract infection. Once they get uh, hospitalized, they get intubated, and when they're not weanable or they fail an extubation or two, um, they get trait, and then they spend the rest of their lives in institutions, uh, ventilator units of, uh, of, of nursing facilities, or with 16 to 24 hours a day of nursing care at home. Um, if you begin the patient, not on bi-level positive airway pressure, but if you use a portable ventilator with volume cycling, with a good delivered volume of a liter or so, uh, the patient will take as much air as he likes, use it at night through a nasal interface, and as he gets weaker, he will spontaneously increase the use during the daytime um, and uh, using a mouthpiece, a simple 15 millimeter mouthpiece. Eventually, the patients become 24 hour dependent on this, and very often without ever being hospitalized. So this preserves their quality of life, it greatly reduces cost, and it allows the patient to remain where he wants to be, which is home.